Welcome to The Way, an independent Christian church located in Ocala, Florida. Thank you for joining us for today's devotional from Elder Russ Gemberling. When we look at some of the Apostle Paul's letters to the various churches, he often compared life to running a race. To the church in Corinth, Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 9.24, don't you realize that in a race, every run runs, but only one person gets the prize, so run to win. In Galatians 5.8, Paul comments to them that they were running the race so well. In Philippians, he uses the race analogy twice. In Philippians 2.16, he writes, hold firmly to the word of life then. On the day of Christ's return, I will be proud that I did not run the race in vain and that my work was not useless. Again, in Philippians 3:14, he writes, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. When you think of anyone running a race, there is always a start and, of course, a finish line. In Paul's life, he was realizing that his race was coming to an end or to a finish line. That was evident in his letter to his faithful friend, Timothy. He wrote in 2 Timothy 4, 7 and 8, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have remained faithful. And now the prize awaits me, the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on the day of his return. And the prize is just not for me, but for all who eagerly look forward to his appearing. Do you ever realize that Christ also had a race to run? He started his ministry knowing that he had a finish line, and that finish line was the cross. John captured the finish line for Christ in John 19, 28, and 30. Jesus knew that his mission was now finished, and to fulfill, fulfill scripture, he said, I am thirsty. A jar of sour wine was sitting there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put it on a hyssop branch, and held it up to his lips. When Jesus had tasted it, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Jesus had joined the human race for a very special and specific reason, and that was to finish God's plan to provide forgiveness, salvation, and eternal life for a fallen humanity. When Jesus said, it is finished, he was declaring that he endured the judgment of sin on behalf of all mankind. He crossed the finish line for each of us, and in order to finish, he had to seal the arrangement with his life. The cross represented the last hours in a long race marked out for Jesus. Even though he knew exactly how the race would end with his sacrificial death, he still ran. Even though he had his disciples around him to provide companionship and support, not one of them knew exactly what was going through his final hours. Jesus knew that he'd experience excruciating pain. He knew that many would never accept his sacrifice and that he also knew that many would and for us he ran. He finished the race. For this, we'll spend eternity in grateful appreciation. May you be blessed today. In Christ's name, amen.